Guys, I'm actually going to make um, homemade chili rellenos. No one has ever taught me this stuff. I come up with recipes in my brain, okay? And uh, I'm going to fill it up with some water, and I'm going to steam them at first, okay? And then I'm going to char them after. I could pretty much eat something at a restaurant and then replicate it. It's just how I do it. Like, I'm going to make a chicken cordon bleu uh, tonight as well with uh, rice flour, and you'll see. Anyways, I'm doing two things at once tonight. So I'm going to go ahead and steam these babies up. Okay, so I gotta keep the lid on there. We're gonna steam them up high because it's water, no big deal. All right guys, so I'm gonna chop up onion, put it in the uh, magic bullet because we're gonna make a sauce. Okay, we're gonna check on these. Okay, this is uh, making my sauce, you guys. You're gonna freaking love it. Okay, now we're gonna put some aroma tomatoes, you guys, organic of course, and throw some garlic in here. We're gonna chop up some of these peppers too in here. Okay, and some lime juice and then um, chicken broth for the sauce. Okay, as you guys can see, the peppers are gonna go in here. Now, I'm gonna do this two or three times because I, I need the sauce. I need to make a lot of sauce, you guys. So I'm gonna go ahead and put chicken broth in here. Just use the magic bullet. Okay, and I'm gonna blend it up and throw it into this pot. Basically, it looks like this, but it's gonna come out to a very rich, greenish, uh, red sauce. You'll see when it's done. And again, you guys, I mean, it's a lot of work. I mean, this is not a joke. You know, people are like, oh, well, I don't want to do that. You know, don't be lazy. You want to freaking, you want to eat something that's beautiful? You freaking can't be lazy. You know, I have to make another blend of this. Okay, you guys, I'm going to go ahead and dump this into here. I got to clean this off. All right, we're just going to put it on here. I'm going to put it on uh, medium low for now. Okay. You know, a lot of ladies, they'll text me, they'll ask me for recipes. I don't have recipes, you guys. I, I wing everything out of my head. That's how I do it. And every once in a while, I'll have a guy text me like, dude, you can teach me how to do this stuff. I'm dating this girl. I'm like, yeah, well, it's either you have, you either have the uh, gift or you don't. And that's all I got to say. So you have to you either have a gift to do it or you don't. Because uh, shit's not always easy. Dude. But I think of the stuff in my head. And then I just go for it. And that's how I've always done it. So, um, anyways, we just got to soften these up just a little bit. And then we're going to cut a slit in there. And I'm going to stuff them with cheese and Monterey Jack cheese and then uh, and a bunch of other stuff. We gotta, I got to saute some pork. We're going to throw it in the, in the sauce. All right. Okay, guys, these are soft. And just to let you know, you know what I do for my woman? This is a lot of guys don't do this stuff. No matter how hungry I am, no matter how hard I work, I always cook her food first. And if her girls are here, I cook them their food first. And I'm dying. I'm like freaking head rushes, think I'm gonna fall over and drop dead. But I make them first. And guess what? When you do that, it comes back on you. You know, and I do the grocery shop. I had a guy the other day go, I bet you love having a Filipino woman. You don't have to go shopping or anything. I go, dude, I'm the one that does the laundry. I do the shopping. I mean, she does some stuff, but uh, you know, she does dishes and stuff around the house. But all I'm just saying is, I don't want a woman to do my freaking work. That's not why I have a woman. And a lot of guys, they just think that way. And it's like, no, my woman, I'm the one who serves her. I cook. I shop. I do the laundry. But she does too. She does stuff too. We both do the same stuff. There's no freaking, you don't have like a, a sheet going, okay, I did more than you this week. That's how the shit just, it doesn't work out that way. And also, you got to be unselfish, and you have to have communication. Without communication, you've got nothing. Anyways, these are soft. I'm going to get ready to make the cheese sauce. Watch. All right, I use grapeseed oil because I this is the highest I ever cook is on medium, okay? And that's with olive oil, I don't. You're going to heat this up. We're going to get all, because you don't want the stuff splattering on you. You're just going to kind of pat the, the water out. And then what I'm going to do is char them, okay? And then we're going to, we're going to, you know, char them, put them on here, dry them out a little bit. I'm going to put a slice into them. We're going to take some of the seeds out, and I'm going to stuff it full of cheese, onions, tomato. You're going to see what I'm going to do here. Yeah, before you, you, you fry them, you got to take some of the seeds out. So now we're going to char them. Char them on them. And I'll stiffen them a little bit, and then we're going to roll them in flour. And uh, you'll see. So, this so is not on, okay? No, I'll turn it on. So you ladies, like you said, you know, you always ask for a recipe. This is the recipe. Just watch what I'm doing. You watch the whole thing. I mean, this is what I'm doing. As you can see, this is going to be my cheese sauce. This is all going to go in here. You got to saute these. A little bit of grapeseed oil, you guys. This stuff is frying right here. 
trying to flip them. They start to discolor a little bit. You gotta know what you're doing. I keep the stems on so I can flip them myself. You know what I mean? So you just kind of want to, you know, stiff them a little bit. So you see that? And then we're gonna go ahead and saute these onions and then the tomatoes. And then we're gonna add a bunch of cheese to it. See how our sauce is looking? It's starting to cook down. Awesome. Okay. okay, these are done. So I'm gonna go ahead and pull these. I'm gonna go ahead and let them kind of sit on here for a little bit. And then I'm going to, uh, we're going to go ahead and stuff them and then we're going to roll them in flour and then you'll see, you'll just see what I'm going to do. All right, time for cheese sauce. This is going to go in and then we're going to put Monterey Jack and uh, cheddar as well in here and make our cheese sauce. It's got to be thick, very thick because we want to be able to fill it. Okay, shredded Monterey Jack's in here. We got the queso cheese and I'm going to turn this into the cheese sauce. And then we're gonna go ahead and start stuffing these, watch. Okay, here's the consistency right here. As you can see, it's gonna get hard here in a second. That's what you want, so we can stuff these. I'm gonna cook up some of these to stuff them. Yeah, oregano is a very important part of it. I'm gonna throw a little bit of lime juice in here and I just threw some um, sea salt. Don't wanna forget the lime in the sauce, all right? Very important. All right, you guys, potato starch and white rice flour. In here like that, okay. And we're just gonna go ahead and whisk this up a little bit. And then we're gonna go ahead, you'll see what I'm gonna do. All right, we're gonna put some egg whites in here. We're gonna beat them. Do not put the yolks in. All right, so here's your five eggs. We're gonna go ahead and put it inside the blender if I can find it. Find the edge of this thing, there we go. And we wanna whip these things up until they're, until they're like, they look like frosting. That's what you want to do with these. And I don't know where the friggin' thing is on here. No, it's gonna be frosting. So we're gonna let that sit for quite some time. All right, so that's what it's supposed to look like, you guys. Okay, we're gonna go ahead and pull this. And hang on. And that's what it looks like. Okay. And we're gonna uh, hand beat the yolks in now and some flour. All right, so you're gonna pour them and I'm gonna go ahead and go ahead. Basically, go ahead. I'm gonna beat all these in, and then we're gonna add some flour to it next. All right, it's gonna be beautiful. There you go. It looks so all yummy. Right. Yeah, it's gonna be good. That's gonna fry up really nice. It's gonna seal those cracks too, but I'm hoping. So I'm gonna throw a little bit of some white flour. I'm gonna put a little bit of uh, potato starch. All right, guys, I'm gonna roll these. They're all stuffed, see? I'm gonna roll these in flour, like this, huh? This one? Yeah, we'll go ahead and put them in pie. The pie plate should work. Okay. okay, this is what they look like, and what I have to do is I gotta fry these a little bit, and then we have to dip them in eggs. You guys, this is serious work, you know, it's not even a freaking joke, so I'm trying to seal the bottom so I can flip them. This is hard, hard work. This is really hard work. Look how beautiful these are, you guys. I can't be really filming, so I gotta get moving on these. You guys are so beautiful. You have no idea how beautiful these things came out. Look at this. That's just gorgeous. And I'm gonna do these ones too. We stuffed these ones with pork, by the way. All right, at this point, we're gonna go ahead and I'm gonna drop one of these in here. Oh, they weigh like 500 pounds. So I'm gonna throw that in here like that. Okay, and we're gonna throw another one. Probably this one right here. And then she's gotta get another pan for me. Probably a smaller pan. I think I can get another one in here. All right, guys. So at this point, this is what they look like. Okay. They are very beautiful. I wish you guys can smell the house. Okay. And then these ones right here. Now I'm going to spoon the sauce over the top. Okay. And then we're going to cover with cheese. And then we're just going to just throw it in the toaster oven. Just because they're already cooked. So it doesn't really matter. So we're just going to go ahead and take this beautiful, beautiful sauce. This is like, remember, I made this homemade. This is everything I make is homemade. I don't play games, you guys. I don't, that's it. So let's go ahead and, I'm gonna go ahead and pour all the sauce on here. I'll show you when it's done. I'm not gonna waste any more camera time. Look how beautiful, you guys. Yay. Here's the, here's the cheese I use. This is a very, this is a skim milk one. It's basically gonna go like this, okay? And you're gonna crumble this over the top. Like that, I get sour cream too. This is so fattening, I'm probably gonna, hopefully it doesn't kill me because it's sucked up all that oil. 
all of this, you guys. The egg sucked up all the oil. And you're talking tons of freaking oil, but it's grapeseed oil. And it's actually healthy for you. So I'm not really worried about oil at all. All right, so we got that. Now I'm gonna layer it with some cheddar and some Monterey Jack. All right, guys, so that's what's gonna look like. My, my, my fiance is telling me, you know, you're an expert cook, expert cook. You know, there's no recipe. I, did you see me follow a recipe here? No. no. Say it out loud so the camera can hear. Did you see me follow a recipe? No. I don't follow recipes, don't I? Ever. All right, so that's going to go in here. I do this out of my head. Tomorrow I'm going to make some kind of crazy chicken cordon bleu that I've never read about. It's not a chicken cordon bleu, but it, it is going to be something like it, and I'm going to do it myself. All right, let's go ahead and just throw the toaster on because it's already pre-cooked, you guys. I'm going to go three more, three minutes. All right. And you guys tell me, this does not look beautiful. Look at that. Isn't that sweet? Look at how gorgeous that is. Come on in here with me. Come on. Oh, man. Look at that. It smells so good, this house. Get right in there. Look at the gorgeousness. Are you serious? I mean, it's that good. And it's just, I, you just know it's that good. All right, I'm going to give you a couple pictures here. There's one picture. And there's another one. And I'm obsessive compulsive, you guys. I don't know if you knew that. And there we go. And picture. And come right in here. And right there. All right, I'm hit pause. All right, guys. And as you can see, I have a little garnish right there. And that's, that's I cut the limes and threw them on the side. Just for looks. I wish I had a tomato to throw on there, but I don't. So this is what it looks like, okay? We got the organic. This is only $100 to make. <laughs> <laughs> well, it did cost that tonight. I spent $100 to make this, you guys. I mean, I got a couple extra onions and tomatoes for later, but it doesn't matter. It's about 100 bucks when you push comes to shove. But I have some extra eggs and stuff left over. But this is not a cheap, cheap thing to make when you make them organic, but it's well worth it. Let me go ahead and make it even more beautiful. Let's go ahead and throw the, the light on. There you go. Isn't that nice? Let's go take a picture, right? Mm -hmm. And bam. And here we go. Take the picture. Like that. Okay. And let's do this. And as you guys, if you guys follow me, you'll know that I cook like this all the time, don't I? Mm -hmm. I love to cook like this. I actually enjoy cooking. I don't know if you guys know that. I actually enjoy cooking. Uh, this is like one of my favorite things. When I had COVID-19, I was cooking, wasn't I? Mm -hmm. She was like, oh no, Ed, you're sick. You don't need to be cooking. I'm like, yes, I do. Let's <laughs> cook. All right, guys, I hope you enjoyed this dinner. We're going to pray and eat and thank the Lord for this food. And remember that name, Ed Mack. Ed Mack.